See, temperatures are of upper and lower surfaces of a plane horizontal sheet are maintained at T1 and T2. So this is a horizontal sheet. <coughs> so its weight is mg and temperature of the upper surface is maintained at T1 and lower surface is maintained at T2. And the ambient temperature is T0. The air molecules strike a face of the sheet with kinetic energy that corresponds to ambient temperature. So suppose V0, say V0 is uh, the speed, speed of air molecules at temperature T0. And say V1 is speed at temperature T1 and V2 speed at temperature t2 so let's look at the upper surface so one molecule of air approaches at speed v0 and it bounces off at speed uh, v1 and if you look at the lower surface then one molecule of air approaches at v0 and bounces off at speed v2 okay so there will be pressure uh, say p1 pressure on the upper surface and p2 pressure on the lower surface so the force is p1 s and p2 s okay so so you know force or uh, pressure okay say a force say you have a stream of a fluid a stream of a fluid of cross section A and it is incident on a surface. So, what is the force? So, you know the force exerted, force exerted on a surface. Suppose it stops, then only. Suppose it stops, then uh, say, I mean, you can recall those na? photons striking a plate like that, that case also. So, suppose a stream of air hits a surface at a speed v so what is the force on the surface and it gets stopped there so the force is equal to <coughs> force is proportional to uh, uh, so velocity into mass flow rate dm dt so again uh, mass flow rate is equal to how much mass flow rate is density into cross section into v so that means we know that the force is proportional to v square the force is proportional to v square okay now so the atmospheric pressure so at at temperature t naught the atmospheric pressure is equal to p naught so p naught the atmospheric pressure is p naught so what does that mean suppose you consider any surface so the molecules of air strike at velocity v naught and gets reflected and bounces off at the same speed v naught so what will be the uh, so this pressure is proportional to we can say 2 v naught square right pressure is proportional so the atmospheric pressure p naught is proportional to t 2 v naught square while in the case uh, shown here so this p1 is proportional to so uh, so in this case right so it the so this air I mean approaches at v0 and recedes at v1 so the force momentum transfer so it's so um, we can draw this diagram again to explain see so the plate so the top surface pressure is p1 and bottom surface pressure is p2 so this so the net force upward the net force is uh, 
P2 minus P1 multiplied by the cross, uh, this surface area S. So the upward force, so P2 minus P1 is proportional to V2 square minus V1 square proportional to S. Uh, sorry, uh, P1 minus P2 S proportional to this V2 square minus V1 square into S. Okay. So, uh, we can write this say, say uh, this P2 minus P1 into S is equal to K into V2 square minus V1 square times S. K is the proportionality constant and uh, this P0 equal to 2k into v0 square so therefore p2 minus p1 into s is equal to now we can replace k uh, so k is equal to p0 uh, by 2 v0 square uh, times uh, v2 square minus v1 square now this upward force is equal to so this that's the upward force so p naught 2 v naught square into v2 square minus v1 square is equal to mg now you know uh, velocity square is proportional to temperature so you know if you uh, refer to here where i have written v naught speed of air molecules at temperature t naught so v naught square proportional to t naught and v1 square proportional to t1 and v2 square proportional to t2 so these all we can substitute here so we get here p naught times uh, 2 t naught into t2 minus t1 is equal to mg implies <coughs> m is equal to p naught by 2 g t naught times uh, there is s there was s here uh, 2 p 2 minus p uh -huh. so s i have missed out here s <coughs> so p naught s times t 2 minus t 1 right so that's it this is the value of the mass of the plate